ETC Creo Parametric 3.0 Lesson 2 Part 2. What we're going to do now at the end of Lesson 2 is increase our productivity, make things go smoother, simpler, uh, maybe faster. And one of the first things you want to do is change how your mouse works. So if we go over to the control panel and we want to change a device and we're going to go to the mouse and basically what we want to do is just set the mouse so that it goes to the default position. If you go to where the pointer options are, um, this is a very good one. You can use it for any program. Your mouse will go to the next option that is the default instead of having to move your cursor across the screen all the time. So automatically move the pointer to the default button in the dialog box. You might not always want the default selection, but this will cut your movement of the mouse down quite a bit. So apply and then close it, cancel it. Okay. That's the start. So now Basically, what will happen is when you click on a command, whatever it is, and you're going to do something with it, you're going to, you're going to make a choice or whatever, I'm trying to find one here that's going to do it, um, your cursor should, okay, see it pop to yes. So your cursor should pop to whatever the default selection is. In this particular case, um, there we do it again. You want to exit it? Yes. Now, when you're going through the set of commands on any CAD system, this will help. And it also helps when you're doing just regular work on, on any program that you've got on your computer. Now, not every program will allow it to move to the default position, or maybe they don't have one selected. But in general, this, shall, this should increase your productivity quite a bit. Now, next thing is we're going to customize our interface a little bit. And the graphics toolbar, if you put your cursor over the top and click right mouse button, you can add a variety of things to that. You also, for instance, can change the location. Let's say we want it on the right-hand side. Makes it very convenient to go get. And I'll put it back on the top so that we can see it. So it just expands our options in the graphics toolbar. Now, if we click on the quick toolbar on the top, we can customize it, and we can add anything that we like to that one. Um, let's click on here and go to all commands and scroll down. We could say, no, well, let's try this one. Um, erase not displayed. That's a useful one to have on there. Uh, we could put erase, not used quite as often. You can see you can even add extrude or any command that you wish to the upper menu bar here, the quick access. Uh, just put the things that you're going to use. Delete old versions is a very good one to have so that you don't, if you save 50 times, you don't need to have all those 50 versions. You can get rid of all but the last save. And click on OK. So we've got a few more up in here. We could put a print. There's a, there's a lot of them that are standard, but we can add as many as we want to that, as long as it's convenient and it's, it's something that you want to have access to quite often. Now, if we just click inside the ribbon, again, we can move things. We can hide the command labels. Minimize the ribbon. A lot of people, they already know what the command is. They don't want to see the words or the labels. I like to have them all on. I keep everything on and in default because whenever I teach or record for a lesson, I have to have the defaults. I don't want to have a bunch of customization that wouldn't be appropriate because you people wouldn't see what's going on. If I created a command with a hotkey or a map key, all of a sudden it would do two or three things and people would wonder where that came from. So this is just doing some simple changing 
of the existing ribbons in that. So let's go over to uh, customize the ribbon and let's pull it down a little bit. So we can actually add a new tab over here. We got the main tabs. We could add a new tab and we can name these. So right mouse button rename. I'll just call it production. And we can even rename the group that's going to go under it. I'll just simplify it there. So this is our separate tab. Now, if we want to click on here, for instance, let's click on this one right here. We can add things to that. Now, what would be good for a productivity tool? Well, how about delete? How about, uh, let's see if we can find one on here that uh, <clears throat> it's going to quicken our, how about suppress? And we get to go through here. Now, depending on the industry you're working on, there are situations where you're going to want a lot of commands available quickly for your particular situation. So I'll just add a couple of things in here so that you can see what happens. And when we click OK, you'll see that we now have a new tab on the top here. Okay, If I click on something, this becomes active. I could suppress it. All right, I will undo that. So selecting an item, I could delete it. Kind of back to where I was in the original, except for different sizes. Got rid of the flexible modeling feature that was moved, moved feature, moved surface. So I can put anything I want on this production one. This could fill it up, do a lot of work here make things quicker. I could add more to the upper one, the, the quick access, just to streamline the modeling procedures, that's the process. That's really what you want to do. And again, your industry will dictate what you want as far as something that would be appropriate that you use over and over again, and you're sick of going into three menus in order to find it. Click on Control D. Now let's look at this a little bit more. Um, you can also move things. So for instance, if you want to move this one, it says you can remove it, customize it, show it below the toolbar. So it goes down in here. That might be handy for you. So whatever makes it faster to do your work is what you want to do. That's where you want to select it. This is actually on the top. I normally leave everything here. But it is true. I hardly go up there to get anything because it's too far away. I normally will work in here or I'll work with the commands. And again, many times I might move it over to the right-hand side so that I don't have it in the graphics area um, you know, vertically. It'll be over on the horizontal far right. Or I could put it on the bottom. And I could also put this in the status bar in the very bottom down here. And again, I'll put it back up to the top. Now, these are some of the things that you can do to streamline what you're going to have on your screen. And let's do this again. Let's go back in right mouse button, customize the ribbon. And let's say there's a command in your group here that you use quite often. For instance, uh, maybe it's the curve. Uh, you've got shapes over here. You got a blend rotational blend. There's no blend command up here. So let's say I wanted to take that and I wanted to put it up in here. So I've added the blend command. I could put rotational blend up there. I seem to have room. So anything that you're going to use often, this is basically what you want to do. Um, also, if I click on any of these larger items like extrude, which is one of the more normal ones that you're going to use a lot, you could actually make it large button, small button, default size, and make it a little bit easier. In the book, we did this so that it's easier for me to capture rather than a large button when I'm pasting it into the, uh, the book itself in the Word document. So one of the things we want to do is now that we're here, let's take a look at some of the other things that are available. Well, let's close this. We'll just close it and we'll see. 
So there's our production. And let's go to File, Options, and Environment. Now you don't want the bell to sound, so that's why that's turned off. Save display with the model, you want that. And click OK, and then this concludes Lesson 2, Part 2.